Hi everyone, welcome to Last Week on Xbox One. I'm your host, Uncle Jesse, and each week we cover the top submitted posts over on the Xbox One subreddit. As you can see, I'm not in my normal venue. I'm actually on vacation with my family right now. So trying to record this video while down in sunny Florida, it's actually a little bit windy, so I'm hoping the audio isn't craptacular uh, and I'm blocking a little bit of the wind. I've got a friggin' chime over there that keeps going off as well <laughs> that I can't get away from. Uh, regardless, there is a ton of activity and stuff that we want to cover, so let's get it started. All right, folks, the official announcement was made. Rocket League is coming this Wednesday on February 17th for $20. User Debella360 posted the official announcement with all of the details for the upcoming release. So on this Wednesday, you'll be able to purchase the game for $20 and included in that are all three of the DLCs that were previously released. And you have two exclusive vehicles that are only on the Xbox One. You have an exclusive Warthog as well as a Gears of War Armadillo. Also included in that are two rocket pack propulsion pieces from Sunset Overdrive. And user Tygos posted a photo of the Warthog that you'll be getting in the game. And it appears it has needles sticking out of the back, just like the, on a needle or gun. And it looks like the rocket trail is the needlers. Pretty, pretty cool. So looking forward to the game officially being released this Wednesday. Also, I got a little insider info, <coughs> delicious cheese. <coughs> That you might want to stay tuned for later in the week where there might be some special events as well as some giveaways. It's finally happening, people. Well, sort of. Red Dead Redemption is coming at some point to the Xbox One through backward compatibility. User Wolf345 posted the article from Windows Central. Some people were trying to access it and download it onto their Xbox One early in advance of its official release. Major Nelson came out and stated that this was an accident and was just part of the testing process, that this was not the official announcement and the official release for the game through backward compatibility yet, but to stay tuned for that in the near future. So hopefully in the upcoming weeks, we will get that official announcement and we can get back to riding that horse into the sunset. Yeehaw. Oof. Yeehaw. Oof. Stand by for Titanfall. User Blackfire345 posted an article from IGN that had an interview with Respawn, basically announcing that they'll have a single player campaign for Titanfall 2. I am thrilled to hear this. I loved the first Titanfall. It was multiplayer only. I guess I really didn't need a campaign, but I will gladly welcome it, especially if this means more people will play it, as they know it's not just a multiplayer only title. Uh, just as a reminder, if you have EA access, it's part of that program and you can get it right now on your console, and it is so, so good, and I highly, highly recommend you guys picking up if you haven't already. Also mentioned that article, they're working on a Titanfall live action TV series. Well, it looks like Ubisoft is finally listening to its user community about Assassin's Creed. User RP Lay posted the announcement from Ubisoft announcing that they are not going to be releasing an Assassin's Creed game in 2016. That is great, great news in my opinion. That allows them to really focus in on making that a solid game for 2017, making a better story, building better content for the game, and really, again, as they've stated, focusing on the user feedback from their previous titles that they've released. Also, we have an Assassin's Creed movie coming out in 2016. As one of the users here on a subreddit stated, it would be great if the upcoming process is really a movie one year, a game the next year, a movie the next year, game, movie, game, movie, game, movie, game, movie. Wait, game movie? Game movie. I'm sure you all saw it. We had an absolute quantum break bomb dropped on us this past Thursday with a major announcement that along with the game, if you pre-order it, you'll also be getting a copy of it for Windows 10 for free. Plus, included with your copy of the game, you'll be receiving Alan Wake through backward compatibility, plus it's two free DLCs. Also, if you pre-order, not only will you be getting a copy, a Windows 10 copy of Quantum Break, but you'll also be getting a copy of Alan Wake American Nightmare through backward compatibility. They also mentioned that there's gonna be a Quantum Break console bundle that includes a white Xbox One console and a white controller so that is pretty pretty cool and hopefully this is all 
gonna help bring in more people to the Xbox One. I know some people were upset for some odd reason about it being available on Windows 10 now, or you getting a free copy of it on Windows 10 when you pre-order the game. <laughs> I mean, come on now, I am all for that. If this means that Remedy is gonna sell more copies of the game, which means we're gonna get another iteration of this game in another year or two, or better yet, an entirely new title in a few years, I'm completely behind that, as well as Microsoft's stance on bringing their games to not only the Xbox, but to Windows 10. It's a no-brainer to me, especially if I get a copy of the Windows 10 game for free. I'm on the road all the dang time for work. I would love to be able to do cross saves between my Xbox One and Windows 10 so I can play and then jump on my sofa and play and then I'm in a hotel I can play. It's, it's awesome. Absolutely, absolutely incredible to me. So, bravo. Glad to hear you guys are working on that and looking forward to future titles, including that in their offer. All right, folks, that was this week's show. Please like, subscribe, leave me some feedback down below. Let me know what you think of the show. Also, to stay on top of all the latest Xbox One news and trends, make sure to head on over to the reddit.com slash r slash Xbox One subreddit. Also, as mentioned, make sure to check back in on the subreddit later in this week to hear about all the cool activity that's gonna be going on around the release of Rocket League. Cannot wait to start playing with you guys and getting my hands on that game. Freaking awesome, can't wait. All right, and as usual, I'm gonna leave you guys with a top submitted post from one year ago this week, which was from Bacon and Pizza, great username, who posted the announcement that Microsoft's trimming the price of Xbox Live Gold to $40 from its previous $60. That's absolutely great. I know I get mine now anywhere between 30 to 40 bucks. That seems like just an awesome price point. Why bother selling it for 60 when everybody buys it discounted anyway, so keep it closer and get more people buying it. So I had an awesome idea for the end of that video where I was gonna jump into the pool with my GoPro uh, and just do something kind of funny. Well, now I've ended up with a GoPro in a bucket full of rice because I'm an idiot and did not have the case on completely. So bravo to me for ruining my GoPro. <laughs> Fingers crossed this works. In a few days, I'll be able to plug it back in and have it back up and running. But just want to let you guys know why there was no little fun intro exit thing at the end there. All right. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you next week. Bye now.